Everybody just describes here with a top four regional deck profile of baby raccoons. Yeah. All right, so I played three Baby Raccoon, Pompoko. This guy, when he's normal summon, gets you a level 2 beast from your deck, face down defense position. And you can only summon beasts the turn you summon him. Uh, three Baby Raccoon, Tantan. When he's flip summoned, you get a level 2 beast from your deck, except himself. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Two, Kalantosa, Mystical Beast of the Forest. This is the guy you typically get off of Tantan. When he's summoned by a beast, he blows up a card on the field. This this card's insane. So would you say Tantan's a better card to draw? Uh, yeah. Like, I like drawing Pon Poco because if you get Pon Poco and get Tantan, like, if this survives for the turn, you could put a lot of damage on the board the following turn. It's like Digusto Phoenix and so on. But you'll see later. Alright. Uh, then I played for one of Raiko. Just because he's not that great to draw, but he's just another name for Obedience School. Uh, Wind-Up Kitten. This thing has a pretty useful effect, bouncing exceeds or synchros back to the extra deck that are sometimes hard to deal with. Uh, again, only one, just a name for Obedience School. You never want to see multiple of these things, or you just like, ugh, it'd be awful. Uh, then Tree Otter. And Elephant. I never, ever thought in my entire life I would ever sleeve up either of these two cards into a deck. No kidding. Uh, this guy. Once per turn, if I control another beast, I can boost something else on the field by a thousand. So I'll boost like my Sandayu or himself, so that I can make 2,200 tokens with Sandayu. Or boost one, if I've got double Sandayu in the field already, I'll make a token, boost that token up over one of their monsters, and then make another token that's going to stay at that stat permanently. So that's why, this, that's why you play this guy. Impressive tech. And Elephant is a beast-type tuner. And playing him allows you to turn Obedience Schooled and any level 2 beast monster into Sandayu plus Maturia Beast, or Sandayu plus Thunder Unicorn, or just a, he's just a tuner in general. Is that all for monsters? Uh, no. Uh, two Effect Veiler. What's yeah, Effect Veiler? Yeah, it's pretty standard right now. Uh, one Thunder King. Shit. This card's ridiculous. Uh, I figured that this deck wasn't going to be good enough to win on its own. Thunder King rode me into victory in a lot of games, so played him in there. Uh, really cool interaction I'll show you later with the card in the extra deck. Uh, two Kaius. I didn't summon this card. I think I summoned it once, and it was kind of awful when I did. Uh, after round two, I started siding it out every game. I thought that I'd be able to keep Tribute Fodder on the field to be able to use it. That's how it was working for me in testing anyway. But just eventually I was just like, no, I'm just going to start signing it out. Because it, it was sitting dead in my hand a lot. Like all the games that I lost, uh, I lost three games today. And all of them were just because this guy was stuck in my hand being a dead guy. And all your cards need to be live. So that's 17 monsters. And for the spells, three mystical space typhoon. Uh, this hits all the unfair cards. Like, Fiendish Chain is really, really important to stop because Fiendish Chain stops Sandayu. Uh, this hits Tower, this hits Tanky, uh, and just end phase back rows. Hitting Tanky is a really big one. Oh, yeah, Tanky is super unfair. And Gyoku, because you rely a lot on your trap cards to get you there, and if Gyoku's freezing a really important trap card, being able to get rid of it is good. Uh, three Upstart Goblin. Uh, essentially, so you're playing 37 cards, and you want to get to Obedient School as much as possible. So, I don't play Pot of Duality because you're special summoning almost every single turn. But you play this instead so that you get to obedient school as much as you can. You don't find the plus thousands make any difference? No, because you're it, advantage over damage. Alright. And three obedient school. Best card in deck. The thing that made the, the deck. So, what this card does is lets you special summon three level two or lower beast type effect monsters from your deck, but they all have to be different names, so that's why I was only playing one of the other guys. Um, their effects are negated, and they're destroyed at the end phase, and you can only special summon beasts the turn you use it. So typically, like, during a first turn hand, I'll summon uh, this guy, this guy, because you play multiples of them, and Raiko, typically. Because if you're not, if you're just trying to do, like, a standard double sign that you play, uh, the reason I get him as the third one is because of Burst Rebirth. But... If I want to make an Achiria Beast play, then you just get... Where is he? Elephant somewhere is here. You already showed it. Okay, Elephant disappeared, but you'd, uh, you'd get him off it. Here it is. You'd get Elephant instead of one of the other guys. Specifically Beast? So you summon a level 1 monster as well? Is the token level 1? It's got to be Beasts. Um, and Sandayu's token is a level 1 Beast. Uh, so that's 9 spell cards. Uh, 
uh, torrential, bottomless, warning. Yeah, I uh, don't play compulse or book. Just because Fire Fist is like the best deck right now, and, and it doesn't deal with either of those. You definitely needs the advantage too. Uh, this card I'll save for after. Somebody's supposed to be doing my deck check here shortly. Uh, two Mirror Force just eliminates bigger monsters. Oh yeah. Uh, three Phoenix Chain stops problems like Fire Fist dudes. And what is that in your hand? The best card. I'll save it for last. Horn of the Phantom Beast. I didn't activate this card once. Probably wouldn't play it again. Sided it out a lot. Didn't draw it. Uh, two mistakes. I'd play a third one if I had it. You don't do any searching, and every deck does searching, so oh, yeah. just play that. Uh, two first three birds. Here we go. So I'd take out the two Horn of the Phantom Beasts for a third mistake and a third of this card. This card says pay 2,000 life, special summon to do from your graveyard face down defense. So use this during your opponent's end phase to get. Uh, this guy? Yeah. And then on your turn, you flip summon this guy, get this one, blow up a card, and you have a rank 2 play without normal summoning. So you just keep going from there. So it's 14 traps for the total. So is that 14? Yeah. There's 40 cards, 17 monsters, plus 10, plus 13 traps. 13 traps. Uh, the Astro. 3, number 64, Sandayu. So he says you detach material. Special summon a monster, level one beast token, whose attack is equal to the largest monster on the field. Uh, and he can't die while you control another beast type monster by card effects or by battle. So if he gets schooled and a level two beast lets you get out two of these, and they just protect each other. Typically on turn one, like you won't special summon tokens because you're just wasting tokens because they just come out at a thousand. Oh yeah. So you just save it for when they put a bigger monster on the field. And that's when you can use tree otter to make your tokens bigger and then create another one, and it just gets crazy. Or first turn with Obedience School, you can summon him and Naturia Beasts, which is a pretty cool lock on its own. Oh yeah. Uh, so I also play Naturia Beasts, and the tokens he summons are level 1 Earths, so that's what you use to make Naturia Beasts turn 1. Uh, Barkeon, I didn't summon it, but I play a bunch of Earths. Uh, Degusto Phoenix. The combo I was talking about earlier, if Pompoko survives for the turn, you can do 8500 damage the next turn, using this guy with Tree Otter to pump him up. And he swings for 25 twice, and then you have 25 token and a sand to you. Uh, do, 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 do. Crazy that this deck has an OTK. Herald of Pure Light. Returning this guy back to the deck is really good because he sucks to draw. Oh, yeah. Uh, lets you return Veilers to your hand and stuff. Uh, gotcha, I didn't summon it, but it's just there because it's a level 2. Uh, Slacker Magician. I played this card because of Xyz Encore. I know a lot of people signed it around here. And I actually got it off once. Somebody Xyz encore my Sonda you, so I just turned it into this. Uh, Downer Magician lets you replace your dead level 2 or level 1, or rank 2 exceeds into something that can actually do something. Oh, yeah. Uh, Balmung. This is the guy who had a cool interaction with Thunder King. If you can get him out of against Fire Fist, he's good because if you kill him, he'll just get Thunder King back. Or if he dies by a card effect, he gets a level 4 lower guy back. Uh, I just summoned him to swing for a game one time, that's it. Army Arm didn't summon it, didn't summon this, didn't summon this, and didn't summon this. But they're all there as oh, options. Yeah, they're all possible. Yeah, this is Thunder Unicorn if you want to look at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, side deck, three overworks. That's not an overwork. That's an overwork. Uh, counter Fire Fist, I sided this in against Noble Knights. I uh, sided against Insectors, maybe Bujins, but Regeki against Fire Fist. Uh, but you gotta be careful though, because this will kill your tokens. So be careful with that. Uh, two Dimensional Prison. Sided this in against Constellers and Fire Fists. Pretty good. One Dust Tornado. I sided this in almost every round. Uh, just having the fourth MST is really, really important. Being able to snipe. Uh, like DNA surgery, because it turns all you guys to not beasts, and you need beasts to make Sanda you. Uh, two black horns. I had this for Girgia uh, and dragons. I didn't play either of those. One Kaiku. I had that for spell books, dragons. I didn't play either of them. D Fisher for water. I didn't draw it against water. Three Max D for a lot of different stuff. I only ended up siding it against water, but I drew it. It drew me an extra card, I guess. I didn't get much opportunity to get it off. Uh, Soul Drain for Water, Dark World, all those silly decks. I drew it against Water and it was pretty devastating. And Dark Hole. 
decided it against a lot of different things. Uh, just clears the board for your obedient school play to go off. Uh, swing for some bigger damage and get rid of bigger monsters who sometimes, like, if they have protection, your token won't always get there to trade with their monster. So Dark Hole's good to just clear the board and go off. Did you not see it fit to main deck it? Sorry? Did you not see it fit to main deck Dark Hole? No, probably not. Like, it's not that good. It's not good against Fire Fist, and Fire Fist is the most played deck, so yeah, I wouldn't play it. And these are my tokens. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, uh, remember to uh, like, uh, comment, and subscribe for more content similar. And thank you for this amazing deck profile.